previously on Let's Play Football Manager 22, Sheffield Wednesday. Played two other games, so we played our Papa John's Trophy game against Mansfield. Played my B team, won that quite comfortably 1-0. And then we played Bolton at home and we beat them 1-0 as well. Marvin Johnson's last five games, but the thing is, he's, he was playing well. And then, um, yeah, the patch came out and that's, I think that's where I need to change my tactics. Swing backs aren't performing. G. Oh, free kick McCormick again. <sighs> Very good hold up play. Byers to Gregory. I think that's offside. Get in. That's it. I think this game is all over. Ah, oh, what a noob. What a noob. We are losing. We are losing 2 0. It's um, for 30th minute. And I recorded all that footage with my mic on mute. Patson, can he get two and two since his return? Oh, lucky. Oh, wing. <laughs> oh, they got through. Cover it, Lauren. Great save, Peacock Farrell. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this formation. Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the 11th episode of the Let's Play Football Manager 22 Sheffield Wednesday series. In this episode, we are only going to show one match of gameplay as we discuss, review, and make changes to our tactic. Have we just made the best tactic in Football Manager 22. Only time will tell. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content from Football Manager, Hattrick and FIFA, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right Just in. To give you a quick update from obviously our Everton loss. I decided obviously losing to Lincoln and then Everton it was doing, we was doing fine. I probably would have kept the formation, but the win backs, they just wasn't giving me what I wanted them to give me like they was at the beginning of the season. Before the football manager patch came out, it's, again, it's like any game, a patch comes out and you have to adjust. It, I'll probably adjust even with no patch at the end of the season, go, going into a new season. What I've been reading about other people's experiences is that they go into the second season with a successful tactic they had in the first season and it's not really replicating what they was achieving. Because AI obviously learns, they start learning to deal with what you're offering out there. Um, so you just need to tweak it up and just be different each season. It's unfortunate that I've decided to change it so early on, but so I'm using my boss lineup formation, believe it or not. Play a bit of attacking, slow build up, possession based football. I think we have the players to play like that in this division. Maybe going into the championship, we probably have to tweak and bring in the right players if we get to a championship. That no, is um, in January. We've got January coming up in a couple of months. I will probably look to offload some Deadwood and bring in some new, just give it a bit of refresh. But as you can see, we beat Cheltenham away. 2-0, beat Forest Green and for FA Cup first round. Again, we haven't really been tested. Uh, so I played a cautious tactic. Then I played my balance, more attacking, free-flowing football formation. And then I played it again against Newcastle on the 23s because I'm at home. And then I will probably play that formation again uh, for free-flowing balanced formation against Gillian, which I'm going to show you in this one, which will be our final game of the episode. So at the moment, I've got cautious. I was thinking about having cautious as my main one, and I mainly train that one. The best way to see if something works is try it. But you need games behind it. You need results behind it. Barry Bannon, he's not playing great at all. Maybe playing as an advanced playmaker is not doing great for him. Maybe that needs to be a DLP again as a support. Let's see if that improves it. Always looking to tweak this formation to suit my team. Never be afraid to tweak. You can take out of the box formation, try it, see how it goes. If you find that players aren't your best player, for instance, one of my best players, Bannon, we want him to be playing. We want him to be playing at his best. Uh, Luongo, again, I might change that up to just sort these two midfielders out a little bit better. What does a ball winning midfielder or box to box? Try him as a ball winning midfielder. What's the stats looking like? Very even. We've got possession expected with our short passing. But I think that might be quite up and down anyway. So half time, we are, as you can see on FXG, we are dominating possession with dominating chances dominating. 
good performance so far, just haven't got the goal. So let's see if we can get the goal. Keep playing where you come, result will come. Yeah, you're playing well, boys. Playing well. Oh, here we go. We've got a counter. One tackle him. Oh, is he off? Oh. We get so many men sent off. I swear. So what I'm going to do is just change it over to our cautious. Again, let's. I will need to change these over actually uh, to support. Now I would presume that we need to just lose wing and put wing into that fullback position. And I don't have a right back. Lauren Johnson's going to have to go into that position, and then we will bring on the Cabernet over on that left. And that's just the way the cookie's going to have to crumble. Oh. A game, oh, and they score a great goal. A game was dominating, get a man sent off from the resulting free kick. We're now losing. Just gonna make a slight change. Bannon hits it either. Bannon playing better now. 6.9, not a bit better. Long, long one goes not liking being a ball winner midfield in this. Uh, maybe a box to box next to him. Wind us the game out. Him as a pressing forward. And then, if so, run out as well. Tottenham lost to Wolves 2 0. Go on, Cabernet. Yeah. Great ball. Can we nick something from this game? As I said, I thought it was all over. But to be fair, they haven't really taken for opportunity, have they? They've got that one shot on target. Oh, here we go. Set piece again. That's how we conceded our first goal. Oh, f it's typical. Two set pieces. Just absolutely bull crap. Look at them, they just played crap. I can't fault my team. I can't fault them. Oh, last minute, last minute. Oh, penalty. Can we get sight? 95th minute penalty. Oh, if I'm G if I'm Gillian manager, I'd be pissed. Go on, Bannon. Yes! Got a point. Yeah, despite being 10 men down, that's twice we've equalised. As like I said, Gillian just haven't, haven't played well. But two set pieces, two goals. Well done, boys. Going to go and make those uh, slight tweaks to my tactics. We want him to be a DLP support, which works much better. And then have him as a box-to-box. -box. And then in this one, we want him again to be a... Might work better for my Barcelona one as well. Hey, but it's something maybe I could try. Adding that in, and that's it. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.